Good afternoon to everyone. This is the group 2, and here we are to explain and discuss the limits of a function in different situations. Um, we are tasked to solve the questions 1 to 5 um, that includes the limits of a function. So, without further ado, let us move on to the first question. First question um, aims or um, needs to identify all the values of x for which the limit of the function f of x does not exist. Um, as we can see here, the given um, graph, we have here multiple functions graph in a single plane. So we have here the red one, the green one, the orange one, and the yellow one. So let us press study this graph. As you can see, the first function or the first graph here includes negative infinity up to negative 2, where negative 2 is included in a function for the given dot is hollow or not shaded, meaning negative 2 does not exist or isn't included in the function. Now, what about the green one? Green 1 to where negative 2 up to positive 4, where in negative 2 is included in the given function for negative 2 here. As you can see, unlike the negative 2 below, it is shaded. So, meaning the negative 2 here is included. Meanwhile, the negative 2 in the red one is not. So, is it included? And it continues until positive 4, where positive 4 is not included in the function, or it is hollow, that's why it is in parentheses, not in bracket, not in brace, rather, not in brace. Now, what about the next one? Next one, it is positive 4, where positive 4 is included in the function, for it is shaded. Um, and it and the, and the graph continues and extend to positive infinity. So therefore, this 4 to positive infinity. And lastly, it, this given function here is, does not um, give an exact point where it ends. And it just extends both sides to infinity to, in the positive manner. So this one... Is from positive infinity to positive infinity also. So, given the graph, we can now um, study it and see in which point or which value of x does the value that does the function does not exist. And here, I stated here that the that the value of x on which the function does not exist are negative two, positive four. Positive 6. Now, why? We're gonna talk about it. So, as we can, as I said here, the limit of a function at x equals to 6 does not exist for it is an asymptote. What is an asymptote? An asymptote, it's the line or the value of x where the function meet but do not like touch. So they meet, they approach, they continue to approach it like extends to approach that certain value but they never touch it so to this to um, visualize this is positive six so you can see both graphs here continues to um to approach the value the, the positive six but does not touch it so yeah you can see here so we can say that positive 6 isn't included or does not exist if the or the function does not exist if the x is equals to 6. Now, how about negative 2? The limit of the function at x equals negative 2 does not also exist as negative 2 isn't included in the function. So as I stated earlier, negative 2 here is not shaded. Therefore, it is not included in the function. And as you can see, 
if you trace it, there is a gap between the two passive negative twos. And the same thing happens to positive four, wherein the limit of a function at x equals to four does not exist as four isn't included also in the function. So this is positive four. It is not shaded, therefore it is not included in the function for you. And so that's it. The rest of the values of x existed. Meanwhile, this the three values that I have given to you is where the function or the limit of function does not exist if x approaches to it. So now we are done with question number one. Let us move forward to question number two on how do we know if a function has an infinite limit and to be discussed by Alexander Hilberman.